Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to read Mango, Abuela and Me by Meg Medina, illustrated by Angela Dominguez. She comes to U.S. in winter, leaving behind her sunny house that rests between two snaking rivers. Her old place was too much for just one. Mommy tells me as we make room in my dresser for her clothes. And too far away for us to help. Papi adds, Abuela belong with us now, Mia. But I still feel shy when I meet this faraway grandmother. Ping, pam, pum. Papi unfolds Abuela's bed and slides it right next to mine. You will get to know each other, he says. But when I show Abuela my new book, she can't unlock the English words. We can only look at the pictures and watch Emmons race on his wheel. Then, just before we turn out the light, she pulls out two things tucked inside the satin pocket of her suitcase. A feather, una pluma, from a wild parrot that rots in her mango tree trees and a snatch up. Una fotografía of a young man with puppy's smile. Tu abuelo, she says, climbing into bed. A snuggle in my pajamas. I smell flowers in her hair. Sugar and cinnamon baked into her skin. That night, I dream of a red bird circling in the sky. The rest of the winter, while mommy and papi are at work, abuela waits for me to get home from school. Then we bundle up in thick socks and handmade sweaters to walk to the park and toss bread to the sparrows. My Espanol is not good enough to tell her the things an abuela should know, like how I am the very best in art and how I can run as fast as the boys. And her English is too poquito to tell me all the stories. I want to know about Abuelo and the rivers that run right outside their door. With our mouth as empty as our bread baskets, we walk back home and watch TV. Abuela and I can't understand each other. I whisper to mommy. Things will get better, mommy says. Remember how it was with Kim? Kim is my best friend at school. When she was new, our whole class helped teach her English words. Now, Miss Wilson sometimes has to say, Please be quiet, girls. Others are working. After school, the next day, while Abuela and I are making meat pies for our snacks, I pretend I am Miss Wilson. Dog, I say, pointing to the ball. Abuela say, dog. 
masa. En gross is flat. Masa, I say. She drops a spoonful of meat in place. Carne. Carne. I say meat. Pasas. Raisins. Aceite. Oil. Then I remember the war cards we taped in our classroom to help Kim. So why abuela fries our empanadas? I put up word cards too, until everything is covered, even Edmund. Soon we are playing OJD, hear and say, all around the house. But that night, she still called my pillows a palo. And she said Edmund is a gangster. We'll keep practicing, I whisper. But the next day, I cannot practice with Abuela after all. Edmund has run out of his favorite seats, so Mommy and I have to ride the bus downtown to buy more. Sometimes there are kittens sleeping, sleeping in the pet shop window. But when we arrive this time, some time something's even better is behind the glass. Look, I say, the window has become a jungle filled with a bird. And right in the middle of a parrot, staring at us with black bean eyes, I press my nose to the glass, thinking of the red feathers Abuela gave me. Let's buy him, I tell mommy. But Mia, you already have Edmund, mommy says. Oh, not for me, I said. For Abuela, like the parrot that live in her mango trees. He can keep her company when I'm at school. When we bring him home to Abuela, she says, Un loro, a parrot. We name him Mango because his wings are green, orange and gold, like the fruit. During the day, Abuela teaches him how to give big kisses and to bob his head when she sings Los Pollitos to him. Buenas tardes, Mango, Abuela says, opening his cage door. When I get home from school, good afternoon, I said, and give him a seat. Soon, Mango called to me even before we opened his cage. Buenas tardes, he says when I open the door. Good afternoon. Abuela, Mango, and I practice new words every day. Mi español gets fast, faster, and Abuela and Mango learn the days of the week, all the months of the year, and the names of coins. How did he learn all that? Papi asked when we show him all the Mango can do. Abuela winks at me and gives Mango a piece of banana, peel and all. Practice, she says. Before long, Abuela asked me how to say harder thing to, so she can talk with the neighbors who stop by. Has the mailman come? It is chilly today. Can I get you some cookie and lemonade? 
Soon, when friends stop by to see mangoes, ladies' tricks, they can understand everything Abuela says. But best of all, now when Abuela and I are laying next to each other in our beds, our mouths are full of things to say. I tell her about my buen dia and show her my best pintura of mango. Abuela reads my favorite books with only a little help and she tells me new stories about Abuelo who couldn't dive for rivers down with a single breath and wave a roof out of palms. I draw pictures for her. She still misses their old house. She says, but now only a little bit. Mango listens to us from his purse until my eyes grow heavy. Hasta mañana, abuela, I said. Abuela kisses me. Good night, Mia. Hasta mañana. Good night, Mango calls. And soon, we all fall asleep. The end. Thank you for watching my video. If you like, subscribe to my channel and press the thumbs up.